Yo, so how's it going guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. So finally, we have got gameplay of the brand new unreleased weapon. We've also got gameplay of the brand new random crime scenes, which I'm going to be showcasing in this video and breaking down for you guys so you know exactly what's to come in GTA 5 online in the future. So as always, if you guys do appreciate me keeping these videos short and sweet and direct to the point, I'm bringing you guys all of this news before anyone else on YouTube. All I ask is you do return the favor by dropping a like down below and if you guys are new around here hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on so you guys can keep up to date with all of the latest gta 5 news before any other youtube channel with that being said let's get into the video okay so if you guys have been living under a rock for the last few days then you won't know that rockstar games did release a brand new dlc about four days ago on the 26th and it was meant to release two brand new weapons however they only released one brand new weapon on launch day now i have come covered all of the brand new DLC content in full detail so if you guys are looking to check out what's included with this DLC I will leave a link to a playlist down below in the description where you guys can check out all of the content however thanks to a data miner known as Wildbrick we knew that we had to go ahead and collect parts to the second weapon at random crime scenes in order to unlock it now a lot of people were confused as to whether the weapon was in the game already or it will be drip fed now Wildbrick actually went ahead and cleared up the confusion and he did let everyone know that it will be getting drip fed in the coming weeks however just last night Wildbrick was able to actually trigger one of these random crime scenes and unlock the brand new weapon so as you guys can see on screen he went ahead and said this there's another option to just buy the gun for 370k don't know if both will be released at the same time or slowly rolled out picking up components gives you a two-star wanted level watch out for the cops crime scene spawns seem to be painfully rare and then as you guys can see on screen he goes ahead and shows a video of one of these crime scenes taking part so he's just driving down by the pier he sees this little blue circle goes ahead and investigates and it's a full-blown crime scene with cops there they've got obviously the little drawings on the floor however as you guys can see he's able to pick up a part which unlocks the service carbine and of course that is the name of the other brand new weapon he goes ahead and shows some gameplay of him shooting the brand new weapon but like I said, a lot of people were skeptical as to whether this data miner was legit with his information. Quite a few people that were skeptical as to whether we do unlock this brand new weapon at random crime scenes. And here is just proof that that is the case. It will be getting drip fed in the coming weeks, like I said. So I will keep you guys up to date as soon as Rockstar Games do drop the brand new weapon. As always, if you guys would like to keep up to date with all of the latest GTA 5 news, make sure you guys do hit the little bell so you guys do keep notified and if you guys do appreciate me keeping you up to date with all of the latest news and keeping these videos short and sweet and direct to the point all i ask is you do return the favor with a like down below and like i said if you guys do want to keep up to date with all of the latest gta 5 news hit that little subscribe button and turn notifications on and i'll see you guys in my next video peace